na 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 We are, of course, humming Josie Papai's Azena Palm. He won a doll, and he was a fan favorite in 2016. Will he be this year? Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Our family tree has deep roots. Learn about yours with my heritage. In any case, Hungary is calling, and we just have to answer. The artist is Josi Papai. He is a Eurovision veteran. In 2016, he really sent a powerful message. A member of the Roma community, gaining acceptance, winning this song, blazing a trail for other people. Very, very remarkable. And it's wonderful to see him back. Yeah. He wasn't the favorite the whole way through it all, but in the end, he came out and he slayed, proving his love is everlasting. And in any case, the song, My Father. Ah, this is such a beautiful song. This is, you know, in keeping with the whole my heritage, tracing your DNA, understanding your DNA through music. Right. I think this is really the um, the soundtrack that scores this whole branding. Um, Josie Papai really knows how to tell a story. So he talks about his father and all the things that he's learned from his father and how he's learned about a lot about his traditions through the songs of his father and how when he hears songs he remembers his father and then just showing gratitude as it goes along his musical journey and the outburst the chorus the na -na 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 -na, just sums it all up this is so this cradles your emotions in a way like no other a father-son relationship kind of having that moment on a eurovision stage yeah. this is so powerful yeah, I mean, in 2017, Our Ego was one of my favorites. Oh my God, I was here in 2016 this whole time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yes, in Kiev, in 2017. Um, no, that was, I really enjoyed that. And it was really good to see in Kiev, he really grew as a performer when we were watching the rehearsals as well, because I remember that very first one, he was very nervous and he mm. didn't seem too sure of himself. Now it's like he's a fully grown man, he's ready, he's going to go. And I'm really, really confident about Zena Pam's chances. I think that it's, um, I really hope that it will qualify and I think it has a really good chance to. I think that chorus is just really memorable. It's very, very oh. simple. But again, yeah. so is Origo. That was just na yeah. na 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 na. And this is this is like on the same path, obviously. Um the fact that he doesn't have as aggressive a rap might help yeah. with the juries because I can't remember whether he did I can't remember where he balanced out with the juries in the televote, but you know rap and juries don't always go well together at Eurovision. Unless so you're Nicholas Joseph. Unless you're Nicholas actually no he didn't do well in the jury vote. Did he? No, did he I not? think he did really well on the televote mm. memory, but again, so th th there is there is a chance there that this will do better. Um, but no, I think it's really really cool. I think it's really touching, and I'm just very glad to see him back because. You know, Hungary keep on putting out really, really good songs and it's never the same thing twice. Admittedly, this is the first time they've sent the same artist yeah. um, that they've had a returnee, which is very rare for Eurovision as well, yeah. like um, to end up having going that long without going back to the well. But Yossi has come with something that is familiar but different and I'm just excited. You bring up a really good point about the rap. He managed to do well. Top 10, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think just top 10. He was in the top 10 in the televote, I remember. With the song that featured rap, so he can make any genre work at Eurovision and also make it work in a foreign language and mm, in a foreign yeah. language that's very underrepresented at Eurovision because ain't nobody singing in Hungarian except for Hungary. And he actually said had Roma language in last year, uh, last yeah, entry yeah. as well. Yeah, he so he can make all of this work. I think the song, again, it does get stuck in your head after a while. I think that it stands out melodically. There's nothing like this. Mm. These are unusual sounds, very soothing. Again, you don't have to scream and shout to be heard. No. He has a quality that is somehow universal despite the fact it's very unique there's an ancient quality he's drawing on the past like this sound I could hear people in my dreams singing like this, I don't know, in the 4th century BC. Do you know what I mean? There's that ancient quality. That is shade repackaged. No, it's not shade. And I'm loving it's it. It's not shade. It is not shade. <laughs> my only concern is that for many people, this song doesn't really kick off until two minutes in. Mm. Two minutes in, that is when you really get into it, and you'll have lost a lot of people drunken at their parties, not paying attention at that point. Because you remember, you're not voting just for people like us who follow Eurovision obsessively. You're voting for a mass audience who may not care as much as we do. That 190 is just a fact. million, you're going to have a mixed bag. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, mixed bag. And I think if people tune into that final minute, they will be touched. But my concern is that in the first two minutes, they won't. However, with interesting staging, which he did not have in Hungary. I'm sorry, the staging in Which Hungary. Which I doubt it will have in Israel as well. No, they'll do something nice. Mm. Okay. I think tele, I think the we know Tali Eshkali, for instance, the people involved in the show this year want everything to be visually unique, to have a texture, to have a flavor. So he, there will be the means by which to create an interesting stage show if he wants that. Yeah, I mean the stage show for Orego was wonderful with with the with oh. the dancer, and then they had the contrast of having the violinist further yeah. away as well. So you had depth, you had textures yeah. there. Um, and I think ultimately the main thing about the staging though is is Yossi because I think to quite a while catch you can feel the passion yes. coming from him yes. and it's so so cool um, I think that he is just such an engaging performer and he's likable because of that yeah uh, William does make a strong point that this really doesn't kick off until towards the end but that's an opportunity for him to win you know people over and to just kind of hold you in suspense yeah. and then towards the end you can all join in the refrain and it's beautiful. This is really nice. I'm going to kick this off. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. Wow. Prediction yeah. for the... Will it make the final? Oh, my God. Will it make the final? It deserves to make the final. This is really strong. I think this is... You know, it's it's funny because there are a couple of returnees this year. And the buzz is all around Sir again. Of course, the buzz is also on Sir Hat to some degree. Yeah. But nobody's really talking about Josie as a returnee. Yes. Um, but I, you know, I think that's because he's serving things quite differently. And I think that may be to his advantage. We should point out that Hungary has always qualified since returning yeah. to the contest. So they know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, he's in uh, what I think is the toughest semi-final, but I think that's because a lot of my favourites are in the first semi-final. Um, but I really hope he qualifies. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 as well. Um, yeah, I really, really hope this does well, because it is, it is one of my favourites of the year, um, even though I'm only giving it a 7. But yeah, I think it's really, really strong. It's a tough year. You know, I love so many songs. I can't give every song a high score, but let me say this. He is powerful. He's very humble. He's got a unique voice, a unique song in a unique and beautiful slash stunning language. So I'm wishing him all the best. I do I think... I feel a tough score is coming up. Listen, I think he has a very strong shot at going to the final. Hungary has become something of a powerhouse in terms of qualification yeah. since they've returned. My score is a four. Oh, Now gosh. listen, if the first two minutes were more engaging, I would have given this an eight. But I just, it's like I'm judging two songs, the second, the, the final minute and the first two minutes. And the first two minutes were just monotonous for me at a doll and there was zero staging. So again, reserving my right to raise my score in Tel Aviv because there will be staging and hopefully that staging will give the first two minutes more of a narrative. In your defense though, I have played the song to other people and they can't see why I love it because they're like, they've, sw they've literally switched off. Yeah, sometimes coming in at the last Last minute is just not enough. In any case, we are not the. There is the a payoff. <laughs> yes, there is a payoff indeed. You got to wait for it. We are not the only wee wee bloggers in on this earth. They are all over the place on all six continents, all seven continents, <laughs> bar Antarctica. And the overall <laughs> score is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Is this headed to the final? Is Yossi an underrated returnee? And what is your score out of 10? Let us know down below here on Wee Wee Blogs. Make sure to like the video, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook. Follow us on those. Twitter! Twitter. He's tweet, verified. Tweet. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.